This video will demonstrate how to create a temperature controlled heat source in Simulation CFD 2014. I'm going to start by creating an exterior fluid volume to provide for natural convective cooling. I'll just make sure there's plenty of air around the solid for this simple example. Next I'll assign an appropriate material. In this case we're working with air and because we're using natural convective cooling we need to make sure that the material properties are variable and that the density is allowed to vary with the equation of state. I have the other two materials applied, steel plate, tungsten heater. Next I'll move on to boundary conditions. provide a temperature boundary condition at the bottom, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Pressure conditions, 0 PSI gauge. And symmetry conditions around the outer sides of the air shape. Next I'll apply a heat generation boundary condition, volume based, make sure to have the volume selection enabled. Total heat generation, temperature dependent, steady state, the temperature the heat source cannot vary with both time and temperature, so we'll have to use steady state in this case. The sensing location. We can use either a part centroid or select a surface. In this case, I've created a surface on this model, so the centroid of that surface will be used. For the temperature curve, we need to create a curve here to show how the power output will vary with the temperature at that location. And this will depend upon your heater and your controller. So at 65 degrees, maybe we have a, a value in watts of 200 at 85 degrees I'll just create a decrease in power as the temperature increases to verify your temperature versus power curve you can plot it From there you proceed with the rest of the model, creating your mesh, ensuring that the solution time and type parameters are set properly, flow, heat transfer, so the gravity is assigned in the proper direction, the desired time step size and or number of steps. This will be a transient analysis. Skipping ahead to review some results, we can see that, of course, due to the concentration of the heating element in this area of the plate, we do have elevated temperature. The point here represents roughly the location of our thermostat surface. And if we review the plot data from that location of temperature versus time, we can see that it does slowly increase, overshoot, and eventually stabilize.